Hi guys, I am back today with a work box video for you. My voice is not 100%, but I guess it's decent enough to be able to record this voiceover, so bear with me. Um, today, I'm just going to walk you through what we do for our work boxes. It's fairly simple, but I've gotten a lot of requests about how we do them. So I figured I'd show you. Before we had our work boxes underneath our desk and we loved that, but I wanted to be able to utilize the space at the top of our work boxes. So I went ahead and put them over in front of the chalkboard wall. Um, these work box systems I got, they're actually scrapbooking towers or crafting storage um, for scrapbooks. And I did purchase mine from Michael's. I found I got the best deal there. I think they're about $53 or $54, but I purchased them individually and I used a 40% off coupon for each one of them. So I ended up getting a pretty good deal. I like these because they do have separate drawers for each subject that I would want them for. And I really like them because the base is really large so it holds a lot of things and I really like that. I also really like that it closes um, so I don't have to worry about them spilling stuff all over the place. They can simply just grab a work box, move it into the space that they're going to be using or doing their work in and sometimes that's all over the house. Um, so these are really convenient for us. We basically have our work boxes uh, uh, divided uh, by the subject. And I really like it because when we're not focusing on a certain subject, I could simply take off that label and replace it with um, the appropriate label for what we are working on. There are six drawer spaces or scrapbooking boxes in each uh, work box system. And we use ours for Bible, reading and writing, math, science and history, geography and art and those are our main subjects that we work on the first three being our core subjects and then the last three being our elective subjects and um, they basically just start in the morning at the top work box which is bible and they make their way to the bottom work box so I hope this quick work box video was slightly helpful to you. Um, I did forget a few things like uh, the addition of our assignment cards, but I thought maybe I could just go ahead and add another video just showing you how they make their way from the very top of their work boxes to the bottom of their work box and the end of the school day. So uh, if you like this video, please be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already, if you'd like to follow along in our homeschool journey. I hope you guys are having an awesome day and thanks so much for watching. Bye!